in Australia, but uh, two catches there I will always remember, one off Ian Botham, diving down the leg side, always nice to catch catches for any bowler, but when somebody's just starting their test career, obviously it gives you extra pleasure. And this one, uh, the ball going in my right hand, but fortunately I got my left there as well in the end, and the ball just sticking in my web. So delighted with that, also a catch off Tony Gregg, where the ball in fact was setting off just about leg stump, the ball swung, and I had to dive back to my right hand side to take the catch. So two catches I was certainly pleased with. So Alan Knott now has uh, made his 250th dismissal as a wicket keeper for England. on the stroke of lunch 35 for 2 Australia McCosker brilliantly caught again by Alan Knott two marvellous catches in uh, this innings well, we've been emphasising the wicket keeping and all round sense of uh, the video what about the batting at Trent Bridge 135 and you had to come in at uh, 82 for 5 Geoffrey Boycott at the other end Yes, uh, Geoffrey Boycott and myself were always good friends in Test Cricket. He was one of my early roommates and uh, in fact we didn't bat together that much but here he'd just run out the local hero Derek Randall he'd just come back into Test Cricket it was his first Test match for quite some time and uh, he was a little bit under pressure but a delight here to be in a very large stand with him a match I will always remember and a partnership that will uh, stay with me always and uh, a game in fact that we won so uh, always uh, a lot, of, lot to remember there the innings a victory against Australia as well and this to be Jeff Thompson, bowling to Alan Knott. Four runs, no chance of cutting that off. Good shot. That's not far uh, short of the best shot of the day. It wasn't all that much over pitched. Alan Knott was waiting for it and fairly slammed it through the covers. And that's Alan Knott's 50. The most valuable inning for England. It's also the 100 stand. These two experienced players. The one who's been a stalwart for England in recent years as wicketkeeper batsman and the other make the comeback to Test cricket. Having last played against Australia in 1972, they've pulled England's innings together again and look at the determination on Knott's face. Fifty and a hundred and eleven minutes for Alan Knott. needed a reflex action to pick that up it went very fast <laughs> an equally good stroke a little more unorthodox because not gave himself some room there room, chopped it away, four more to the Little Kent wicketkeeper who's really brought this crowd to their feet and that's following it chopped away fine and the Keith doesn't quite know where to pitch it to him there's no margin of error whatsoever on this pitch for the slow bowler and anything just fractionally short, Alan Knott has moved away and chopped him away to third man. Yet another boundary takes him on to 82. A little bit of pressure here again. He's made 100 against Australia in this country. Has done it overseas. He's on 99 as not as uh, Thompson comes in. That's away, he stirred it nicely down to third man, that's the single that he's been after, this crowd rise on their feet to applaud 
superb performance by Alan Mott. First hundred in this country against Australia. It's come in the remarkably quick time under these conditions of 202 minutes. We've got one five and 12 fours. Well, he got down to congratulate him and how he deserves the congratulations here of everybody. It's his fifth hundred in uh, Test match cricket. His second against Australia, following on the 106 he made at Adelaide a couple of years ago. And the boy got to receive from Thompson. shot he's running the first hard he'll want the second he's turning swiftly he's racing in and he's just made it and his arms go up in the air his back go up in the air and there is no more delighted man in England at this particular moment than Roper really has been a tremendous comeback he's emphasized what he's said all along that he's a test match player of my word he's proved he's a test match batsman here on this ground a marathon effort from the Yorkshireman Six hours and 20 minutes it's taken to reach 100. He's made 11 fours and he's been largely responsible for seeing England through to a very handy and comfortable lead. Safe and four runs. And that's the 200 up uh, for this pair. Really a tremendous effort from Alan Knott and Jeff Boycott. The stand coming up in 233 minutes. That's a pretty good time. Well, that's it. He's come up with Rick McCosker who dropped Boycott and has now caught him. And Jeff Thompson has broken through. Boycott out for 107, 297 for 6 England and Boycott and Knott have equaled but not beaten that previous record partnership of 215 between Hutton and Hardstaff at the Oval in 1938. And it really is a wonderful atmosphere here today. Let's get it through this time. That should go through for four. Well, a very pleasant cover drive by Alan Knott. And we'll see again this boundary which brings up the 300. There's the full toss which is dealt with this time on the onside. It's four more, clipped away and... Uh, all kinds of records fall into Alan Knott in this innings now. He's now established himself as the uh, high scorer. High score, in fact, by a wicketkeeper in England, Australia, Test match cricket. That's for either country. 120 was the previous best. Made by Leslie Ames at Lords against Australia, 1934. And Thompson comes in again. And he's hit him high and hard. Right over the top. In fact, only a couple of bounces to the ropes, right over the top of mid-off. Thompson can't believe it. It's very, very seldom he gets treated in such a cavalier fashion as that. So he's taken 14 from that uh, Jeff Thompson over. Oh, what a good catch. First ball after lunch. One of the most extraordinary dismissals I've seen. Alan Knott is out, first ball after lunch to what was so close to being wide. It would well have been worthwhile letting it go. Got a top edge and was caught at third man. And very well caught indeed by Ian Davis. Knott is out for 135 and it's 326 for seven. That was a long walk out. And now a long walk back for Alan Knott and a standing ovation 